Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. TSMC and Samsung compete fiercely in the high-end chip market, continuously improving the yield rate of 4 nanometers and 3 nanometers chips, and snapping up ASML's high-end lithography machines to grasp more production capacity advantages. However, ASML's high-end lithography machines cannot be purchased at will, and ASML cannot bypass U.S. regulations to ship high-end lithography machines to the mainland. However, ASML suddenly announced that some of the high-end lithography machines will be shipped without an agreement. How is this going? What kind of value benefits can this type of lithography machine bring? What is the demand for lithography machines in the Chinese mainland market? The lithography machine has become a battlefield in the chip manufacturing industry. Whoever can control the lithography machine resources can occupy the main voice. TSMC and Samsung are the world's largest and second-largest chip manufacturers and are important shareholders of ASML. Therefore, they can take the lead in obtaining lithography machine resources and shipments. Even if it is the most advanced EUV lithography machine, ASML can try its best to arrange it. However, the demand in mainland China cannot be ignored by ASML. In the first quarter of this year, mainland China only contributed 8% of ASML's revenue. It doesn't seem like much, but the situation has reversed. In the second quarter, mainland China's share of ASML's revenue rose to 24%. This illustrates a problem, that is, ASML has great potential in the Chinese market. As long as ASML can guarantee shipments, there is basically no need to worry about orders. Especially under the background that the Netherlands is about to implement export controls on high-end DUV lithography machines, mainland manufacturers are actively stocking up and placing more orders with ASML. This is also the reason why the proportion of revenue in the Chinese market soared in the second quarter. Seeing that the mainland market is so important, ASML is also trying its best to win the support of the mainland market. ASML suddenly announced that not all high-end lithography machines will be restricted. In the upgraded ban in the Netherlands, restrictive measures are only taken for 2000i and subsequent DUV lithography machines, and the 1980i lithography machines, which are lower than this model, do not require an export license. What is the value and benefit of 1980i lithography machine? What kind of value benefits can this type of lithography machine bring? Although the 1980i lithography machine was a product 10 years ago, it still has certain value and benefits. Its single exposure accuracy is 28 nanometers, and theoretically multiple exposures can be used to achieve 7 nanometers chip lithography. Therefore, the 1980i lithography machine is also included in the category of high-end lithography machines to a certain extent. Due to the large gap between single exposure and multiple exposure accuracy, how to achieve high exposure accuracy depends on the chip manufacturing process mastered by the actual user. The performance of the same lithography machine in the hands of different manufacturers is different. TSMC once used DUV lithography machine to achieve mass production of 7 nanometers chips using multiple exposure technology. However, 
Other manufacturers have not yet realized the use of DUV lithography machines to produce 7 nanometers cases, which shows that in order to give full play to the value and benefits of 1980i, chip manufacturers need to strengthen the control of chip manufacturing processes and be able to skillfully use 1980i lithography machines in the lithography process. Assignments in ASML's high-end lithography machines are shipped, and some of them can be shipped to mainland manufacturers without an agreement. Not surprisingly, the 1980i model lithography opportunity has been sold well in the Chinese market and has become the most popular product. Because this is not only the key to ASML's ability to ship the most advanced products to the mainland, but also to help mainland manufacturers realize the layout of the chip manufacturing industry. Another important point is that the 1980i is an old product after all, and there are not many snap-up buyers. ASML can arrange more manufacturers to the mainland market. Just like in the second quarter of this year, ASML shipped 27 lithography machines to the mainland, while in the first quarter ASML shipped only 13 lithography machines to the mainland. In order to ensure sufficient shipments, ASML simplifies the delivery process and directly ships the lithography machine to the customer's factory model for actual verification instead of shipping after verification which greatly reduces the delivery time. ASML and mainland manufacturers both are good. It is understandable that ASML wants to do business in the mainland market. It is all about making money. This year, the global semiconductor industry is in a downturn and major semiconductor giants have experienced a sharp decline in revenue and profits. Even TSMC only earned 228.1 billion yuan in the first half of this year, a year-on-year -year decline of 3.5%. At present, it seems that only the mainland market maintains the vitality of semiconductor economic growth. Both SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor have 12-inch fab projects under construction, which can provide ASML with more opportunities to ship lithography machines. Moreover, it can be seen from the proportion of mainland revenue in the first quarter to the second quarter that the increase from 8% to 24% is enough for ASML to focus on the mainland market. But it must be understood that ASML's lithography machines are not domestically produced after all. No matter how good the quality is, no matter how high the production capacity is, the money earned will go to ASML's pocket. ASML only wants to make money and will not help China solve the chip card neck problem. The bottleneck problem encountered by Chinese chips needs to be solved by ourselves. It is the best choice to invest a lot of manpower, material resources and production resources to promote the development of domestic lithography machines. ASML has been operating in mainland China for decades and has maintained good cooperative relations with many mainland customers. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but ASML has too much helplessness. As a private enterprise, it must abide by market rules, otherwise ASML will also get into unnecessary trouble. Only if one's own lithography machine can handle it, can he not be afraid of any challenges.